this is Sam from Happy Scrappy. How are you today? Um, I actually just woke up and going to post office later. So before I go to the post office, I decided to make a quick video to show you the full review of the July kit. I know it actually took me quite a while to just to film this video because my room was so messy. It's still very messy now, but I have already cleaned up later because I need to start packing the August kit and I was so overwhelmed that I did not want to do anything but just to sleep and go online shopping and maybe eat you know what did I shop recently when the items are here then I will make a whole video and show you I actually bought a few planners yeah I mean a few before I show you the July kit, I would like to show you some fun things uh, about what I have done to my planner recently. Uh, I did not have any updates on the setup since the last video that I have shown you. But I just want to show you some cute things that I have did to, for my planner. Here's the first one this, that I made using um, four ladder, the PVC ladder. Um, I used um, C6 dies to roll out the, the shape of the owl and stitch them together. So this and owl, uh, I can use it as a back charm or maybe use it as a keychain. And this one is my, is my new pouch. And this Totoro pouch is actually for a, for an iPad mini. It's not for an iPad because it's, uh, the iPad is a little too big for this. So I assume that this is for an iPad mini or any, any tablet which is around the size of this. So when I open it up, you will actually see my Filofax original in yellow color. I don't really use it now because it, it has already been very dirty. I'm waiting for someone to send me some leather cleaner to clean it up. But do you remember that I actually showed you in last video, the back part was stained. So what I did is that uh, I have a circle die cut leftover from this owl and also a heart shape leftover so I just glue them together and use tape glue and stick it here so I think it looks quite cute just to cover up the stain the dirty part and okay. here's my uh, aqua modern in A5 size uh, it's a little bit bigger so it's actually um, a desk planner that I use for recording my shop stuff my uh, orders and things that i need to do i haven't actually set up properly yet because i haven't found a system that i really like what i have done is that i actually printed out some free printables for the from diy fish it's actually that are uh, printed on a sheet of a4 paper so i already print print them out they are undated so i can actually add dates on my own great day on two pages blank day on two pages and also week on two pages these are all free printables which i will just punch hole and add to my binder aqua modern i actually got it a while ago and i only added um, a small keychain a vespa keychain that my cousin got for me from from italy when you open it up then you will see uh, it's actually very simple there's nothing much yet uh, I have some page flags from Target that my friend sent to me. Then I have this one point marker. I always like to use point marker because they are cute and I think they are very practical. Uh, on the on the side here, and there's a pack of stickers, a neon color stickers. I can't remember where I should go, but I just think the neon color is very pretty. Then I have a stack of... Um, memo papers the love bug memo papers that are currently in, available in my shop now um they are just loose sheet of uh, memo papers how do i actually use it is that when i use it i will just run the tape glue use it like just normal post-it notes they work perfectly and the adhesive of the tape glue is definitely better than than any sticky memo that you could get uh, this page, uh, flyer I actually have um, some target sticky notes and some neon page markers and the coffee time sticky memo and also some cute page flag that I get from 
one of the 100 yen shop in Japan. When you flip it over, this is actually um, dividers, a set of dividers that I made. It's actually very simple. Recently, I made divider without the tab so that I can always switch the sequence. What I did is that I actually cut down the paper from from a notebook, a journal from Kiki K, and then pick a few design and laminate them. So I have this design, this design, and then this design, this one, and this one as the divider. They are so simple and so easy to make. Just that it's a little thinner than using the normal scrapbook paper, but it's fine since I already laminate them, so it doesn't bother me much. And then divider done. Um, the bit on two pages. I'm still using the Filofax one. I'm thinking of switching it to this bit on two pages that I printed out from DIY Fish. I should like this better because the paper is white, not cream color, and the paper is thicker than this one. Then I will also use the man on two pages. It's fine, I will just plot the dates here. The month on two pages and use this day on two pages, the blank page. I don't need to write quotes here, not like the usual one that I use in my personal size. The rest of the updates is that I also take some papers from the same, take out pages from this A5 journal from Kiki K. It's so cute that I can't bear to use it. The thing is, I'm so used to using a ring binder right now, so I would like to use some of these cute pages in the ring binder. What I do is that I actually take out the pages by cutting off the thread here and just take it out, trim the sides, and then punch out and put it into my binder. So I think it actually looks very cute and adds some color to my work binder so the work binder will not look so boring and the next one is that I actually leave the A to Z tab here because I'm thinking of using it as a filing cabinet not as a dress book I do need an address book here but thinking of using it as a filing cabinet when I'm done um, or have some changes to this binder I will show you more I haven't even labeled the section here so now I'm going to show you what is actually included in the personal size uh, Happy Planner Kit in July. Before I show you the, the kit, I would like to show you what are the actual pre-order gifts. This is one of the pre-order gifts that we sent to the customers or, or those who actually pre-order the kit before I show the full review. If you buy the kit, before I show the full review, you will get some pre-order gift and this be one of the pre-order gifts that we sent is actually uh, a piece of puffy stickers um, in animals and forest team as well and also a clip and some of them they actually get a Russian doll sticky notes so they actually coordinate very well with the kit and now let's move on and look at the the kit that um, the items in the kit so first of all you will get um, a gel pen in black ink the, from the kit and this is actually has rubber grip so I use this pen a lot um, it says it's 0 0.5 mm but when I use it I feel that um, it's very smooth um, but it's actually slightly thicker than the normal 0 0.5 mm that I'm using than the 0 0.5 mm zebra sarasa clip or the 0 0.5 mm pilot juice but that's fine I actually like to use it because uh, it has rubber grip here and it makes writing very comfortable the next one will be the diary stickers you will get two sheets of diary stickers and they're quite useful i use them a lot and i will show them where i actually you use them then the next one will be a sheet of uh, reinforcement rings in cute pink and yellow pastel colors then the next one is that you will get three different design of our, our page marker and the next one is definitely my favorite the fat chubby critters in four different different design you will get a chicken a penguin a fox and a polar bear the next one will be 
the circle sticky memo uh, with forest and deer design then this one will be um sticky memo or what do you call that a page marker in forest theme so uh, you actually get random design in forest theme then the next one will be the um have a look closer at the puffy stickers you can see they actually have cute diamonds here this is actually very cute and it comes with four different designs um, one of these will be polar bear then the squirrel then the fox that I've already used it and the penguin all of them actually have some cute little diamonds in the stickers I know some of you actually don't like to use puffy stickers in your in your planner but what you can do is that you can actually use it on your dividers not on the page itself so that it will be easier for you to write and then the next one is that you will get seven pieces of these masking stickers in basic design uh, in bright very bright green blue and red color you will get a paper clip and uh, this is the cutest paper clip that i have ever seen then next one will be a animal binder clip and the next one will be the two clips the two hammock clip that we made in green and orange color to match the theme so these are what you will get in the personal size kit so i hope all of you who has ordered and received the kit actually love this kit as much as i do and i'm going to show you august kit very soon just bear with me we might have some delay because uh, we have some emergency and here are the a5 kit uh, actually the a5 kit is uh, similar has different items than the personal size kit we try to include more different varieties to the a5 kits just in case someone who want both kits that will get um, different items or some of the girls although they do not use a a5 size planner they actually buy the a5 kit because the a5 kits has actually more stuff you know some of them they actually like to have more items and it is only three dollars extra first off you will get a uh, sticky memos again they are the same sticky memos the penguin the bear the fox the chicken and they have this um squirrel with mushroom sticky memo and and the page marker the owls one or another similar design then the next one will be another pack of um forest theme page marker which time you same you get a full pack then you get some pastel plastic dividers this part is actually plastic and this part is paper that you can write on it the plastic dividers two bow clips and a binder clip sometimes you get penguins and sometimes you might get a deer different design a paper clip and four small paper clip here um they're of Four different design. This is um an elephant, a horse, a deer, and a hedgehog. I actually like the hedgehog a lot. Can you see that? It's quite cute, right? Masking stickers actually get 13 sheets instead of seven as compared to the prisoner size. And this my masking sticker is my favorite, especially for this design, this colorful polka dots. And it has a lot of polka dots in this month uh, masking stickers. Two sheets of reinforcement rings in yellow and pink. And the next one will be two sheets of um, diary stickers, which are very useful. Uh, let's say for this one, you actually get a very good, happy, sad, lucky angry that you can stick on the um, particular emotion box to show that um how do you actually feel that day then you'll get puffy stickers uh, in forest team you might get polar bear penguin squirrels or fox and there's another sheet of puffy stickers that are included here i did not open up the packaging it's just um little girl in forest and each of them also have some cute uh, diamonds in the stickers 
Yeah, this is pretty much uh, the A5 kit and the pen is the same pen as the personal size kit just that uh, the personal size one is in penguin design and this one is in bunny design I actually like how the white and the yellow stripe in the pen you will also get a sheet of um, transparency that will have pre punch it's up to you whether you want to use it to hold your sticky memos or you want to put it at the last page of your planner here so that uh, to prevent the, the pages planner from crunching up my phone died uh, I think the battery life of my phone is actually having some problem I in dire needs of a new phone right now so this is the current personal size planner that I'm using for my personal stuff is Filofax original in patent fusion I would like to show you what's the difference between fusion color and also the floral pink floral pink is actually very very bright very floral it's neon pink and this fusion color is just slightly deeper pink color than the Kate Spade the Kate Spade is actually in deep pink and this is fusion it's actually not a um, red color is quite difficult to show you the true color it's not red color it's um i would say ruby deep deep pink color so if you couldn't get your hands on the kate spade deep pink i would highly recommend getting this uh fusion in patent the reason being because i actually didn't like patent initially because um didn't like how shiny it is and i'm worried that i will leave some fingerprints on the on the planner but so far so good i'm looking at it and it didn't leave any fingerprints here and no scratches and it's definitely easier to take care than the yellow color or those which is not in patent finishing so when you open up actually i didn't change much on the my planner uh, there's no updates in the setup and would like to show you uh, this sticky memo this sticky memo is actually in our happy planner kit for the august kit it's very cute you can actually stack them together just like this looks like two scoops of ice cream or you can actually write something on the yellow topping here and then cover it out with the pink topping so that you can have some secret uh, message written in your sticky memo here when I flip through my pages, um, July is still basically the same. Um, there are days that I actually didn't write much or didn't write anything on on my pages, mainly because I sometimes I'm very busy and very overwhelmed. I just don't feel like doing anything, or I will just sit there do some coloring or do some scrapbooking. So how it goes when I do scrapbooking? Obviously, I do not have much to write on the day, or maybe it's a Sunday. Uh, I think I actually brought I went to some playgrounds then the next one actually there's nothing much here just sticky memos and this one is actually the deco stickers that I use uh, from our July happy planner kit there's nothing much here and this August is still empty I did not write anything yet and here is the August August updates I uh, actually try to plot in more dates uh, on the monthly insert and this is the sticky memo or page flag that is included in the August kit and I've been using a lot of um, diary stickers here as you can see and I especially like these circle dot stickers it's transparent so when you stick it on the page you can still see through the numbers um, underneath so I actually use it to do a little bit of color coding on the date and this circle dots is actually included in our happy planner A5 kit too and from this date to 31st I'm actually traveling I am traveling to China for a business trip with my husband this is just uh, Ivan's meal planning or I just write down food that he likes to eat uh, on this donut sticky memo which is uh, available in the shop and there's another color the pink and the 
the cream color is actually in our August Happy Planner kit and it's similar to the ice cream sticky memo you can write some uh, on the donut and then stick the frosting on top of it and um, just have some secret message on your sticky memo this is actually from a row of washi tape the washi tape looks like that um, it doesn't feel like washi it's more like paper type so you can see different design if you want uh, want this design then you can just peel it off and stick on it so it's very cute and it has different design I think in a row they have three different colors for this particular one this one is a panda theme this is one of the page in my August the only things that I have changed in my current setup or the way I plan my days is that I actually swap the the to do to do I used to write the shop to do here I swap it over to this column and write the daily quotes or just some stickers or normal doodles bottom column here so let me flip to the front page and show you what I normally did normally I will just write the quotes and then I will write to do here and then this is my personal to do I actually swap both columns and here is still the same my daily appointments normally I do not have much today is 4th of August I actually have to bring my dog's nuts for a bad appointment I actually did something fun I just write the the quotes with my black pen the black gel pen in the July Happy Planner kit and I use the gel stick uh, it's actually a gel highlighter to color it the texture is um, quite weird it feels like it just feels like crayon but it's more translucent than the crayon and it comes with a few colors you have pink colors neon yellow colors and so on fun pens that I'm currently obsessed with and you can see the highlighters here you can use it a hi highlighter or you can just use it like crayon to do coloring and this one is the stickers that I just show you using the washi tape so this is how it looks like at the moment I also put in a pocket um, at the back like what I showed you previously I prefer the zip pocket than the top opening pocket from the Filofax which is this one because I find that it's harder to keep things here and I feel more secure if it's zip closed so these are the things I keep in the pocket the sticky tracing film which I sometimes I write to-do list um, once I'm done, I will just throw it away. And the reinforcement ring, these are the ones that are included in the August kit. And this sticky memo, the page black, the neon page black, which are also included in the August kit. So I already sneak in some August items to show you. I'd like to show you some of the August uh, new arrivals too. I know there are a lot of people asking for index tab. This one is the, the neon index tab i will show you how i use it i actually use it for my work folder this is the work binder that i collect all the orders or the invoice so i use the small size neon index tab here and i just use washi tape to tape it over for for the labeling uh, just in case i want to change some can peel off the washi tape then relabel it again so i do not have to waste the the tab so how i actually stick it on I actually stick it on a piece of transparency cover so each tab is actually on the transparency cover instead of on a piece of paper I actually like it this way and I like how the neon color actually uh, spice up the work binder and the next thing I would like to show you is that uh, this paper tape this neon color paper tape we should actually use it for color coding here I actually like how it is because when you it come with a dispenser and after you peel it off right the whole paper tape is stick on your paper it has the adhesive all over like the normal sticky memo instead of this one um, sometimes I will just add adhesive so that it will not keep floating like this I actually like this and I've seen my friends Belle from That's It Really she used this to to decorate her envelope which is quite cute 
these are also currently available in the shop and in case you might be wondering why do I actually label name on all the stickers or all the supplies that I have because I do not want to mix up my own supplies with the shop items which is um, available for sale or for the customers for this one I use the name label like this to to label it so what you have to do is that um, you just have to open this part write your name here or whatever word that you want to write here and then you peel off this sticker and stick it over then it will look like this so you can't actually erase or remove the name anymore and the shop currently have two designs for the name label the owl in pink and in blue which is very cute and this is also another set of pen that I added to the shop new arrivals this is actually a water-based ink pen of 10 colors the color of the pen is actually labeled on the pen tab here like this one is say pink purple light blue blue so wherever it is the colors will be indicated on the pen cap and it comes with 10 colors very useful for color coding and now i'd like to show you uh, what are some of the shop new arrivals um i'm using this kipling 100 pen case to hold all my stickers and some of the pens that I use. Um, I don't really like this pen case because I think it's quite bulky and it's slightly bigger than my personal size uh, Filofax. Let me show you more what are the items inside. These are the mini page mark. The donuts is actually available in our August Happy Planner kit. The next one will be the Martha Stewart tab. I'm planning to use this pastel tab to to use them as top tab obviously these are the small one and these are the the big one it has three design the stripes and dots the eiffel tower and travel theme the other one will be the ribbons i have very limited stocks on these indication stickers and sticky notes the other one will be the the index tab the cat design index tab not a cat person but i think this is quite cute to have cats faces sticking out on the index tab there the other one will be the decor stickers in different designs and colors you have pink yellow dots mint green and purplish blue dots stripes and solid colors the ways that i use it is that i use it to mark the certain dates the color codings for the certain dates the next one are the things that I actually use a lot in my planner which are the stamps from Citrus Twist designed by my friend April Joy Hill. I love her calligraphy handwriting and I use it a lot in my previous pages and also I like the, the sun, the moon, the stars and the cloud which you can use it for, for weather, daily weather. The next things are the, I will show you the stickers later. Let me show you the gel pen. These are the gel highlighters that are available in the store right now. The ways that I use it, I think I've shown you previously. I just color them. And the texture is very much like crayon, but it's more translucent. Then my current favorite, you know, I have a thing for multi-color pens. Previously, I was obsessed with Colato pens. These are the Colato High Tech C from Pilot. And someone actually told me maybe I should try Uni Style Fit. I didn't like Style Fit initially because I used to use their 0 0.38 pens and the pens are quite scratchy. So I'm thinking maybe I can try 0 0.5 mm instead. And wow not as scratchy as 0.38 it's much smoother and i actually prefer the barrel more than the colato this one feels sturdier and it's fatter i always like fat pants i prefer the design on the uni style fit the design are cuter and they also have a range of designs like disney relax kuma or even donald duck if i'm not wrong and I actually like this 
what do you call this part? This part is actually sturdier than the and the coletto C. You can actually tell it from the sound. And my friction pen that I always use. I love washi marker. You can use this to mark on your washi. It, it works like Sharpie, but it's from Pilot. I feel that it actually writes smoother and it's more opaque than the normal normal Sharpie in black colors. It comes with black, red, and blue colors. This is how I use it. And the pen actually have dual tip. It has this extra fine tip and fine tip, which you can see here. The next one are the things that I'm currently obsessed with. I'm obsessed with a lot of diary stickers. Like this page, I actually use these funny stickers, the panda design stickers. Because it is translucent, right? You can actually color the the page and then stick on it. Then the color will actually show through. So what you can see, it changed from a white panda to a purple panda here. The next one will be Toffina Deco stickers. Uh, a pack of these stickers normally they have about six to eight sheets, and this one is actually forest theme, and I actually like it because it looks like color pencil doodle. The other thing is that the small stickers, the square stickers, which you can use on your your monthly insert, the monthly pages, because it's small enough to fit into the small boxes. These are the puffy stickers from July Key. I don't really use puffy stickers in my pages because it makes uh, the pages bulky and harder to write. What I do is that I actually stick them on my dividers and they look very cute. You can actually stick these stickers on your handphone or camera for decoration as well. The next one will be the drawing deco stickers. I'm too lazy to open the packaging, but you can actually see clearly the design here. It's actually a very day-to-day -day activity, like reading, uh, raining, then you will have umbrella. I don't know what is this that I put on the head. And then exercising. Then you can see more designs at the back here that have more description. They also have the border stickers. The next one will be Smiley Deco stickers. It's just like the previous deco stickers that I show you, but I actually like this one a lot because it have dew drop and border stickers, which you can see here. And you have it has cute smiley face or emotion stickers. The other one will be the small square stickers, which are very practical for daily use, like umbrella. Maybe you can use it to indicate rainy days. Uh, do laundry, and then it also have uh, this one, which is the the blood type. This one will have dogs. I actually like this one. The cute dogs. I'm not sure what are the dog looking at. Maybe poop. <laughs> then you also have some word stickers like thanks. Don't worry. Be happy. You can also use it to decorate your, your gift tags or use it in scrapbook. This one are the My Melody Diary stickers. It have six sheets of three different designs. That means each design you get two sheets. I especially like the circle stickers here. I'm a sucker for all the plain and solid color stickers. This one, I use the circle stickers here. So it can also be used for color coding. And the next one will be the, the other set of diary stickers that are available in the shop right now. This one is called Yummy Friends Deco Stickers and it is awesome. I would say super awesome because a set of this sticker comes with 12 pieces of stickers. You have 6 sheets of normal stickers, the paper stickers. It looks like stamps and the square design, circle design, text design and border stickers. And another 6 sheets of transparent stickers. And these are mostly food themes like hamburgers, banana, french fries, ice cream, which I like a lot, and sticker, dewdrop, banners, and border stickers as well. Okay, so I already show you some updates on my binders and the short new arrivals and also sneak in the items from my August kit. I hope that... Um, 
you wouldn't feel bored watching this video because I'm sure it's about 30 minutes video although I've already trimmed it shorter and thanks for watching my video and I hope you will drop by my shop to check out the new happy planner kit and we are currently having it as pre-order and we'll ship it around 12th of August those who pre-order the kit will get some extra gift from us and also to seek for your patience because sometimes it will take a while for me to reply you on emails because I'm the only one who manage the shop emails and I need to do the packaging the shipping and everything all right thanks for watching my video have a happy Monday bye bye